but what you're describing is kind of one of the things that strikes me when I'm reading the Psalms, and that is that God can take real prayer. You know, like mm. we, I think a lot of the time we're very good at sort of praying safe prayers and praying, you know, kind of learned, you know, God, let me impress you with my theology and let me beat around the bush. And I certainly won't say anything direct because, you know, I wouldn't want to offend you. But that's not what you were living. You were living kind of the raw pain mm. of, of life at its worst in, in some ways. And and so you, you expressed it as it was. That feels like a very Psalms thing to do. Mm. I think that's true. And I think, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I think the worst thing you can do and what's tempting to do is to kind of walk away from God during those times. And I think you're right. And we often treat God almost like he's our boss. And actually... I think pastors can be the very worst at that. We've almost got to kind of show off to God almost how great we are and how we got all the plates spinning and, you know, try and minimize how horrible our sin is or, you know, pretend that our circumstances are better than they are. And I think you're right. I think the Psalms encourage a much more honest and open dialogue with God. And that in the midst of that, words of scripture and other things come into your mind that help you to just process what you're thinking about. Just, um, yeah, you don't need necessarily God to kind of speak words of comfort directly to you, but bits of the Bible suddenly come into your mind or God's faithfulness in the past will come into your mind or someone, he'll bring someone round who will just say something to you, think, oh, I just needed to hear that today. And I think you're right. There's a kindness that comes out when you're not turning your back on God and walking away, but actually saying, I just don't, I don't know where you are in this. I don't understand. I think it's a perfectly valid way to cry out to God. And probably one we should do a lot more because, the truth is there's a lot we don't really understand. And actually one of the beautiful things about our God is he accepts that, doesn't he? And actually um, blesses it, I think, even not even in times of crisis, but just more generally that a, a humble heart almost says, you're in control, I'm not. You know what's going on and I really don't. 